Hello everyone and welcome back to First Doma PW. It's hard to believe we're now in December 2020 and yet it seems no time ago since we were going into lockdown in March. How time can fly. Hopefully some of you will have made and enjoyed the butter puff recipe from last month. This month I'm going to focus on hope. Jeremiah 29 verses 11 and 12 says, For I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Then you will call on me and come to me and pray and I will listen. This was written in a letter to the exiles in Babylon, but it is just as relevant for us today. Aren't those verses so promising and positive and hopeful? The word hope is mentioned between 142 and 182 times in both the Old and New Testament, depending on what version or translation you're using. Advent is a season of waiting with hope. In fact, this year, 2020, spring, summer, autumn and winter has been and still is a time of hope. Hope for an end to the pandemic. Hope that the vaccine will be rolled out soon. What makes hope explicitly a Christian thing to do? And what is so important about hope? It is easy to use the word hope the way the world does, like a desire or wishful expectation, but not a certainty. For example, we might hope to have a family all together at Christmas. We might hope to get a very special present for Christmas, like a bottle of Joe Malone perfume or a holiday abroad. Hope it doesn't rain tomorrow. I hope Manchester United win the Premiership. We hope but it is by no means certain. Christian hope is a confidence that something will happen because God has promised, so there's absolutely no doubt about it. Life is full of uncertainty, particularly at this present time. We can't be certain about our health, job opportunities for young people, the economy, our children's education, etc. And you know, Christians cannot be any more certain about these things than anyone else. But we can be certain of God's promises. God loves us. God gave his life for us. God will welcome us into his kingdom. God will not leave us or forsake us. God will not let anything separate us from his love. Christians do and should walk through life with confident hope that God will keep his promises. God promises to bring a right end to our lives, even though we don't know what tomorrow will bring. When we have hope, we don't despair and are not discouraged. Hope frees us from despair, anxiety and discouragement. Here's a question for you. How is your hope? Does it bounce back after being hit? Does it cause you to doubt when you lose hope in a particular situation? God knows that we struggle with finding and holding on to hope. When you're facing tests of faith, even the strongest Christians can find it a challenge to remain hopeful. When you need encouragement and refreshment for your soul, turn to the Bible which offers that hope and encouragement. Everyone needs to be reminded from time to time of the hope that God, through his word, offers us in our daily walk. What promises of God will help you maintain hope? Sometimes we're inclined to lose sight of hope. We live in a world that has forgotten about beauty, goodness, truth and honesty. Our news is full of the suffering of people who are innocent victims of war, hatred, abuse, malnutrition. So how do we overcome this situation? What can we do about it? We can pray. We can support organisations like Christian Aid and Tear Fund. We can look out for each other. We can be a listening ear to others. We can encourage others. Job may have lost everything in his life, but he didn't lose faith. Faith and hope go together. In John chapter 14, verse 27, it says, Peace I leave with you. The peace that God gives is free for us to take. Let not your heart be troubled. God is a comforter, a healer, and restorer of pain and heartache. Never give up your hope in God. 
We are going to finish with a poem by A.M.S. Lindis and it will be read by Ruth Swan. And in January, it's 2021, I hope to have a special guest speaker, Priscilla Reid, who is well known for speaking at women's conferences throughout the world. And I hope you all have a very blessed and peaceful and healthy new year. A God of hope. I just want to say thank you for this life you've given me, for all the wondrous blessings for setting my spirit free. You're such an awesome God who only gives the best, giving us a life of hope when we face all kinds of tests. For often we face in life struggles of every kind, little things can get us down and peace is far from our minds. But you give us hope to carry on no matter what we face, when we feel like giving up, unable to finish the race. You step in just in time with angels heaven sent to encourage us to carry on and to give us extra strength. So I praise you, Lord, for whom you are for and for all that I can be, for I'd never have a better life apart from your life in me.